Good News Wednesday report. And tonight we're going to take you inside a local art gallery that's about to open up a special exhibit. News 8's Tina Detail has a sneak peek. It may be safe to say that this is among the best marine art in the world. Now, if you take a look above, you can see these flags. Each one represents the countries from where the artists hail. It takes years for artists to um, sometimes to even get in and to stay in. They've got to um, produce, you know, high quality work um, year after year. 82 artists producing 95 pieces of marine art. Every year we choose a piece to put on our postcard. And so here it is. The 35th Annual International Marine Art Exhibition showcases sculpture, scrimshaw, and ship models, along with paintings depicting historical scenes to contemporary images. It's a yachting scene by David Bearford, one of our premier artists, called um, Heading Home. And all these paintings are, what's so special about this show is um, they're created just for this show. No one has ever seen them. Some are plein air paintings in which the artists create in the natural setting, outside by the sea. Director Jean Potter and assistant director Rita Park. The team of two installing the exhibit in the Maritime Gallery at Mystic Seaport. What we do is, um, she starts at one end, I start at the other. We know each other so well and how to hang paintings together that um, somehow we end up um, together at the end and it all works beautifully. An easier task than getting works accepted into this sought after juried show. And it's, it's a real um, prize to be um, accepted to this show and it's a real disappointment when they're not accepted. After a private preview Saturday night, the show opens to the public Sunday. When people come, they, um, that's all they talk about is how good it is. So I think it is a treat. At first glance, this painting may appear to be a photograph, but it is actually a watercolor. Now all of the paintings, all of the sculptures, and all of the works will be on display until the end of the year. But a special treat this Sunday morning, some of the artists will be here. In Mystic, Tina Dittel, News 8.